What's up guys, Brian Grant here of ContestChampion.com. Today I just want to take a moment to talk about the recent news, the recent message that's been uh, sent out by Kabam in-game about cheating, so hacking, uh, modding, botting, account sharing, paying for other players to get uh, through areas of the game on your account, or, or like grinding for you in Arena. All this stuff is going to end up getting you banned, and that's exactly what's going on now as Kabam is issuing a massive ban wave to a lot of these players who have been cheating. Oh, and you know what? Before I, before I uh, continue that line of thought, I just want to make an adjustment here. I've got the cutoffs on screen. I had Gwenpool at 5.8 million. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to lower that to, uh, to 4.8 million. <laughs> I don't know if she's actually going to drop that much. Uh, you know, if you're going for the champion, st still go as high as you can, right? She's not worth... Uh, or, I mean, she's she's worth it. She's not worth, uh, you know, missing out on. Um, definitely still grind for her. But let me show you what happened last year when there was a massive ban wave, which also happened in July, co coincidentally, or maybe not so coincidentally here. Um, but yeah, this was, this was a post on Reddit that happened uh, back in July of 2016. And at the time, there was a massive ban wave that went out that banned people for 720 hours, which I think was, was like, you know, pretty fair. Like, uh, they didn't permanently ban people. This was like a big warning, like, all right, guys, what you're doing is wrong. Uh, you should be permanently banned, but we're going to go easy on you only, and only give you a 720-hour ban. Like, if people are still going to continue to cheat after that, then they deserve to be permanently banned, right? Uh, there doesn't need to be any other warnings. If you're ruining the experience for other players who are playing fairly in this game, then yeah, you should be permanently banned, right? That's it. But anyway, this happened uh, last year, July of 2016, right? And let's check out the arena cutoff history. Uh, I remember this very clearly at the time because I was still I was still fairly new-ish to the game. I mean, I've been playing the game for a while, and I just started uh, going for champions myself in Arena. No, I wasn't at the point of getting going for feature champions, but I remember watching this, and I remember July of 2016, uh, Nightcrawler was hitting the Arena, and Nightcrawler. He's an iconic character, right? Even I know who Nightcrawler is, and I, I'm a big noob when it comes to Marvel stuff. Uh, and I know that he's an iconic character. Not only that, but he's also a very good character, good champion in this game, right? The champion right before him, Civil Warrior, went for over 13 million. When Nightcrawler hit the first arena after the ban wave and everything, 7 million. 7 million, right? It just it sliced that, that cutoff practically in half. Uh, afterwards, people realized what happened, and people realized like they actually had a chance to get the champion at a reasonable score. So, you know, people started playing again and, uh, you know, got all the way up to 11 million. But even still, like, that's such a massive difference. Um, and, you know, they, they stayed a little bit on the lower side next couple arenas, uh, the, but eventually, you know, the, the one-month ban was lifted, um, and people were, were back to, uh, you know, scoring high in arena again and everything like that. But still... Uh, it was nice to see that drop while it lasted. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm happy that Kabam's doing this. I'm happy that they're actually enforcing some of these rules because it's, it's very clear, right? Um, it, there's no way that anybody can make the mistake and be like, oh, I didn't know. I, I just didn't know that uh, using this, this hack or mod to uh, one-shot enemies in Labyrinth of Legends, I had no idea that would be uh, something I can get banned for, right? Like, yeah, right. Um, so yeah, some of the other funny posts I, I found on Reddit here. Uh, this one posted by Fell the Trainer, just sharing some, uh, you know, screenshot of everybody <laughs> posting on the official forum saying, uh, you know, their account is banned, so yeah, it is a massive ban wave. Uh, this other one posted here by someone, I'm not going to try to say that name, uh, brace yourselves, kabam, ban me for no reason, posts are coming, and yeah, man. Uh, people are definitely going to say this. People are going to say that they got banned for no reason. They got banned, uh, you know, they, they left their, their phone on the table and their little brother picked it up and they must have done something like, yeah, right, you got banned, man. You got banned, you got busted. Just just admit it, basically, right? Don't try to play that uh, victim card. Oh, kabam, they just, they're a bad company and they must have, uh, you know, while they were banning everybody, they must have, uh, you know, picked up my account for, for no reason or something like that. No, man, you cheated, you got banned, that's it. Uh, if the off chance, the point zero zero one percent chance that you got banned for no reason, then just submit a ticket to kabam and that's it, man. Uh, otherwise, I, I don't believe you. Um... If you're saying if you're saying that you got banned for no reason, uh, and I just want to give a warning to people who um, you know are, are afraid of their account getting banned, you have nothing to worry about if you are the only person logging into your account. If you're not using any kind of third-party software, uh, if you're not using any kind of bots or, or hacks or mods or anything like that, um, then you have nothing to worry about. 
if you are one of these people who um, you know did any of that stuff, of course you're banned. If you are somebody who decided to pay somebody to get through certain areas of the game, whether it be grinding arena for you or um, you know getting through Labyrinth of Legends for you or anything like that, then yeah, you're risking yourself. You're risking yourself for getting banned, whether it's just for the, the uh, practice of account sharing itself, which is something that is bannable, or if uh, you know even if people aren't getting banned just for that, then these people who are running these services could be using those third-party softwares. Uh, of course, you know, the faster they get through that content, or if they have bots running and stuff like that, then uh, the more money that they are going to make, which means, uh, yeah, your, your account's going to get banned, right? Do not trust anybody who's doing any kind of services like this. Um, it, it's just not worth it. It's not worth losing your account over. Um, so, yeah, if it happened to you, I got no sympathy, man. I got no sympathy. Um, you should have should have known that this is some uh, some shady stuff that you're getting into beforehand, uh, and start a new account. What can I say, man? Start a new account. So yeah, that's that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, I will see you in the next video. Take care.